Hello! Welcome to Teach Me Maths. My name is Jonathan Hicks and today we're doing square roots and cube roots. Now you must have watched the squaring and cubing video before you can do this. You need to know how to square a number and how to cube a number. This is essentially the opposite of squaring and cubing. So as long as you can square and cube, this is a fairly straightforward topic. Let me just go through a few examples. So if you've got, uh, let's say, 5 squared, or well, 5 squared would be 5 times 5, 25. The square root of something is the opposite of squaring it. And you write it with this funny sort of ticky symbol, like that. And the number you're going to square root goes inside it. So if we were to square root 25, the square root of 25 is the number that you would need to square in order to get 25. So in this case, the number we have to square to get 25 would be 5, because 5 squared is 25. So the square root of 25 is 5. As I say, square rooting is the opposite of squaring. So if you start off with 5 and you square it, you get 25. If you then square root 25, you get back to where you started. It's the opposite of squaring, so you get back to where, so you get back to 5 in this case. Let me do another example then. If you've got the square root of 16, you're saying, what number would I have to square to get 16? Well, if you think about it, you try a few squares. 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. So in this case, 4 is the number I would need to square. 4 squared gives me 16, so the opposite of that, the square root of 16, takes me back to 4. Let's just do one more quickly. Let's have the square root of 49. So if you think about your times tables, what number times itself gives you 49? Well, it's 7. And that's it, really. This is a very simple topic. That's how you work out a square root. you just got to think about what number squared will give you that thing. You're working backwards. Cube roots are slightly harder. Um, again, if we start with a, a cube, if you have 2 cubed, that means 2 times 2 times another 2. You've got 3 2's all multiplying each other. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. Times that by another 2 and you get 8. Again, it's not 2 times 3. It's not 6. It's 2 times 2 times another 2. There are 3 2's all multiplying each other. The cube root is the opposite of cubing. In the same way that the square root is the opposite of squaring, the cube root is the opposite of cubing. And the symbol is exactly the same as the square root symbol, except you stick a little 3 there to in indicate that you're cube rooting rather than square rooting. So you would say this cube root of 8, again cube rooting is the opposite of cubing, so if 2 cubed is 8, the cube root of 8, working backwards, will just give you 2. So let's try some more examples. If we do the cube root of 27, you're saying what cubed gives you 27? Well, 2 cubed gives you 8, uh, 3 cubed, 3 times 3 would be 9, times that by 3 you get 27. Great. So the cube root of 27 would be 3. And yeah, that's it. So to find the square root, the opposite of squaring, you're working backwards to figure out what number you started with. 5 squared would give you 25, 4 squared would give you 16, etc. The cube root, exactly the same idea, but it's the opposite of cubing. So you need to try and work through a few numbers, cube some things, and see if you can figure out the number that you need to cube to get the bit inside. The cube root of 27 would be 3 in this case. My name's Jonathan Hicks, and you're watching Teach Me Maths. Mm -hmm.